Hi, my name is Beth Colpeen and I play the harp in the Grand Rapids Symphony. The harp is in one of the most extraordinary instruments in the orchestra because it's so big and beautiful. It has 47 strings and seven pedals. The pedals are like the black keys on the piano. If you can imagine that those are what you get, the sharps and the flats, the accidentals as they're sometimes called. What's most extraordinary about the harp is the fact that you can do glissandos. Listen to this. So beautiful and so heavenly, right? I chose the harp because my mother played the harp. I was around it my entire life and I started when I was about five years old. I didn't really get serious about it until I was about 16. I played the piano more until that time. I like the harp because it's so unique and there aren't that many people around that play it. So I really like that part. But what sets it apart more than anything is just, it's just unique. It's just different. Here are some of the different things you can do on the harp. We've discussed the glissandos, but when you play the harp, you just, you, you use your fingers. You don't use all five, you only use four because the pinky is just too short to wrap around. So you use four fingers and you just pluck the strings. You can make harmonics. They kind of sound like bells, don't you think? Sometimes you can use your fingernail even and sticking it underneath and playing close to the soundboard. This is called a soundboard. Kind of a wake up call, don't you think? You can even do some weird things on the harp like bending the sound of a string by putting your fingers in between this peg and right, listen, listen for this. Kind of an eerie, eerie, eerie sound. And sometimes you can even use the harp as a percussion instrument. All of those are pretty cool, wonderful techniques that you can do. But the typical sound that you hear are the glissandos and the plucking. But there's also arpeggios. often splashes music in the orchestra with, with something very fun and exciting and it just is a nice little splash. How high can I go? Way up here. And how low can I go? Way down here. It has the range of about like a piano. I'm going to end today with a piece by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart called the Glissando Waltz. Listen for these glissandos that we talked about, which is one of the most iconic things about the harp. demonstration of the harp. Thank you so much.